one of the verses that you wrote with Drake ended up showing on Rico with Meek Mill. Yeah. So how did that come together? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, at the time I was sending uh, Drake ideas. This was post, if you're reading this, I was just sending him a bunch of ideas and nothing was really going. Um, so the fact that nothing was going, uh, I had this one idea, which was Rico. And I, I just, I sent it at the time I was going back and forth between him and drama, DJ drama. Cause just to give a little context, uh, Drake was fucking with me on the writer shit, but he wasn't fucking with me as an artist. But when I would come back to Atlanta, DJ drama and Canon and generation now, they were fucking with me and the coolest Mac. We had a, we have a duo called wedding crashes. So. I had a super tight relationship with drama at the time. So I sent him that just on some like, you know, check me out. Cause I, you know, I looked up to drama the same way I looked up to, to Drake. You know what I'm saying? It's like, these are two legends, you know? So just getting their approval on shit. A lot of times, you know, just send shit or whatever. And, uh, we, one random day, uh, in a club with drama in LA, he's like, yo, you know, me got on that joint. And I'm like, what joint? He's like the Rico joint. And at the time, I hadn't heard Drake's version of Rico. I didn't even know that Drake did it, you know? So uh, by the time I found out, then, you know, we were already in it. We were in the thick of the shit. Okay, so walk me through what exactly happened because you're writing for Drake mm. and, you know, you guys are having a lot of success with that. And initially, Meek Mill approached you to write for him as well? Yeah, so after the, the Rico situation, um, and Meek has knowledge of the shit. Um, uh, then I was approached by, uh, it was never direct. It was always through like drama or canon. And they were like, yo, you know, Meek wants you to write for him or whatever. And I was just like, nah, you know, um, he asked me the first time I said, nah. Then like maybe a week or two later, they asked me again. I said, nah, at this point, you know, drama was very upset. He was really upset about me saying no. Um, and at that point, then it kind of raised like red flags for me. And that's when I started kind of hitting Drake about it. Like, yo, man, you know, they're kind of pushing it. Um, and then like the third time, you know, they offered cash. And then I really wasn't with it because it was just like, okay, now they're really pressing it like really, really hard, you know? It's just something about it that just seemed off, you know? And the crazy shit was, you know, like, I fucked with Meek at the time, you know? Like, but it was just something about that. And then, like, when I had first, the, my first time actually meeting him was with Nicki Minaj in the room, and they all their vibes, was, nothing was positive. Like, they was just me mugging me and just, like, like, it was never, like, cool vibes, you know? So I just wasn't trying to fuck with it, you know? Okay, because was there something about how you played some of the songs and Nikki was like, Oh, we need the room. And like, you yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, this, uh, post Rico time or whatever. Um, my first time actually seeing me and, you know, Nikki was there too. And, uh, drama was, uh, he was playing. So I, like I said, my, my duo wedding crashers, we was up all up through there. So he was playing these wedding crashers songs that we was recording, but he was like, picking the most like Drake sounding songs. And he played this one song, I forgot what it was, but it was like a kind of Drake-ish sounding song. And he took Max part off it completely. He just like only played my shit. And they was just looking, they was like, oh, that's him. I was like, all right, all right. And that's when Nikki was just like, I need the room and just like kicked us out the room. And you know, the vibe was always like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it was never like, Love, hey man, I'm trying to work, da da da. Like it was always like, I don't know, some vindictive shit, you know. And now, you know, after hearing even drama's perspective, and which I guess is understandable, a guy you know messes with your girl and then like puts it in a song. Obviously, you're gonna want some get back, but you know, it's just unfortunate that uh, that was kind of done through me. So, what do you mean a guy messes with your girl puts in a song? Which which one? I mean, he said on to? the he said on Drink Champs, uh, I guess the the summer line, the summer. I, I don't. 
I don't want to mix up the name, uh, but I guess he Drake made a line about you know a girl he was messing with at the time, and Dr Drama admitted that you know he wanted some get back, and that's kind of where the the origin of you know everything he did came from, and I kind of just was just this bystander, you know. <laughs>